Good afternoon, Trader Tim here from eMini Mind. Uh, in this video, I wanted to touch on one minute charts, as a matter of fact, and how you can use the one minute chart, um, even combining it with the retracements to pinpoint some really good entries. Um, I wanted to go through uh, a couple of trade setups from today. Last week was really quiet, so I didn't have any, <clears throat> I didn't put out a video on Thursday because I really didn't have a lot of, uh, didn't really have anything to talk about. So um, today was a much better day and wanted to kick things off um, first with the day daily chart on the ES and what's called the two leg pullback. And this is really helpful for uh, kind of identifying uh, better places to put on swing positions. And then also if you're intraday trading, when to buy that breakout. And so what I mean by the two leg pullback, so if we're on the daily chart, it simply means when we have two legs, if you will, with a little rise in between. So um, from highs, just from last week, or uh, the week before rather, the second, we had this little pullback, and then we rallied, but we didn't make a new high. We ended up rolling over and then going lower than the swing low. And so we have a swing low here, a lower high, and then a lower low. And you might think, oh, well, is this the start of a downtrend? Well, if we zoom out a little bit, we can see the context of this uptrend is still intact. I'll get rid of the downtrend line because we know that's been broken. Um, here's the, the kind of steeper trend line that was violated, but the little bit shallower one is still very much intact with these higher highs and higher lows. Uh, I'm, I'm not really going to bother coming in and drawing a, a line in the middle, um, you know, just something like that, because by and large, when we when we flag like this, where you have a pretty strong move up and then a kind of sideways to channel pullback, it starts to look like a flag. So we're kind of working our way towards this trend line. And so when I see something like a two leg pullback, all of these little pull, pullbacks here, the rally pullback, put in a higher low and then on the bounce, it's taken us to a new swing high, pullback, new swing high higher low, higher high. This was a higher low temporarily, um, but then rolling over violated that higher low. And so this is actually a decent place intraday to look for a long, especially when we have a gap up at lows. And so that's exactly what happened today. And we um, didn't have much of a gap, a little bit of a gap up, sold off a little bit, but did not fill the gap. So the 15 minute breakout play was valid. And that one went for a quick 20 points um, and then even a little bit more. So 15 minute opening range breakout, that was a nice 20 pointer. The other thing I want to kind of zoom in on is um, when, let's see. So when we have a gap up at lows like this, it's a really good time to look for, you know, breakouts to occur intraday. So what I mean by that is like here, the first 15 minute bar, we took the opening range breakout that moved quickly through the 15 minute candles high. And then the next break of the 30 minute high didn't spend a whole lot of time inside the 30 minute range before moving higher. Now there was a little um, double top right on top of the 30 minute high here. So the short, ended up looking like this, where the 50 lined up with the top of the 30 minute range. We did not have a high ticket highs up here. There was no high ticket highs. Um, so that's signaling, well, we're likely to continue going higher, but when you do have a clean double top like this with a swing low in the middle and a uh, the top of the 30 minute range and the 50 are line up. See how at least there's enough follow through to get a first target. And then you can trail your stop down at least by one retracement. And that's a, a good way to really cut down your risk to be looking at the 50% and determining, okay, are we near the high and low of the first 30 minutes? If you're shorting, you ideally want a high tick um, at highs. And going long, you want a low tick at lows. Um, at the very least, when you're shorting, you want the nice ticks to be up higher. And when you're going long, down lower. But even if it doesn't get any momentum, you know, bigger momentum, you can still get a first target. Uh, but what I really want to talk about today, because last week was a pretty quiet week. And uh, over the last month or so, I've been um, playing around with the uh, the one-minute chart. And 
going back years and years and years, um, similar to the 15 minute opening breakout, um, there's something, there's, there's a style, I guess, or a um, phrase that's called the high of the low bar and the low of the high bar. And so when you break, so going back to the daily chart, break the high price of the lowest bar in the pullback. So like today, we pulled back this last week, and then we broke the high price of this low bar in the pullback this morning. That is a signal to go long. When you break the um, low of the high bar, so the low price of the highest bar in the bounce, so here we're going up, 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 and here's the low price, that's a signal to sell. Now, you want to be going long in uptrends and short in downtrends, so, you know, taking these short, you know, not necessarily the, the lowest risk, I mean, this one worked out nice for a, a, a sharp move down, but uh, by and large, you know, just shorting the low of the high bar at any given point, you're, you may have some um, contention and some uh, some struggle with getting those to go. But when we're talking about intraday, you know, I used to do this on a five-minute chart years ago when volatility was a lot smaller or was a lot less. But now the one-minute chart is actually giving a lot of good signals. And so what you can do is use the one-minute chart in conjunction with the, the nicey tick um, and even in conjunction with retracement. So like this morning, we've got a pullback here to the 50%, 4109 and change. And that one came down. This is the same, get rid of this here, but this is the same one here. Get rid of this. And see how we came right down to the 50% and made this V. Straight down, straight back up. No pullback to get in. Now, the 15-minute opening range breakout was enough to, um, you know, kickstart the move up. And so that was here, this uh, first bar. And then by the time that traded, oh, that was here. Right there. So that... Getting long, the 15-minute opening range breakout is one way to combat when the market does not give you a pullback after a larger 50%, like there was no retracement here to get long of. So what you can also do using the one-minute chart is when you get a pullback like this, and especially when you get, um, I, like, I like the hammers and inverted hammers, and when you get a low tick that lines up with the um, low hammer, um, that makes a great place to buy above the high of the low bar. So when you do, we got low tick, 753, low price, or like this pullback here was at 753, and just getting long above the high of the low bar in this kind of a situation, and then just trailing your stop behind each candle. I mean, you can catch some really sweet, quick moves. This one was like 10 points. And so uh, it's a good way to kind of balance out if you don't get a pullback and the market's going really strong. Again, looking for hammers in particular with those low ticks that line up with kind of lows and then high ticks that line up with highs. If we go forward, we had a high tick of the day or at this point in the day, uh, 758. Well, that 758 was back here. So if you said, oh, well, it's not a it's not an inverted hammer, but I want to short anyways, and you put your your sell order, one tick below lows, well, the next couple of candles, we end up going higher. So there's no entry to go short. Um, if you go even further, you have this inverted hammer kind of lined up with the, uh, the double top up here. So you have the inverted hammer here, but you don't have a high tick at highs. So that's telling you that there's a good chance that the market is still going to go higher. Now, if you do um, just, you have to short because you're, um, just stuck on going short. At the very least, there was a nice clean double top where both prices are at the same level, a nice swing low in between. You broke the next 61.8, and then you traded right to the 50% um, that lined up with the top of the 30-minute range. So when you have those kinds of, you know, multiple things lining up like that. It's not a whole bunch of um, things that have to line up, but um, just having, you know, those three or four lining up, at least you can get enough momentum for a first target, target, walk away with, you know, a couple of points, and then, you know, this didn't get much momentum to the downside at all, and then we turned around and went higher. Um, I did try to go um, another long here, 
from the swing low once we broke out. We did not make a new high, and it was a 41.24, but that one ended up coming right to my price and then going, but it did not uh, fill me. So sometimes that happens. Um, you can you know, continue to try and take the retracements that follow those uh, when we're breaking out like that, but um, it was already in the 15-minute opening range breakout, so I didn't feel like I had to um, necessarily double up and chase it. So that's uh, how you can use the one-minute chart to um, catch some of these swings. And especially when the market's moving quicker, that's when you're going to see the momentum moving quicker in your favor as well. So if you have questions, drop them in the comments below. I'll try to do a more in-depth on the one-minute chart um, at some point, a specific video on that. And we can talk about it in the live Tuesday trading sessions as well. So hope you have a great week of trading. We'll talk to you all soon.